Title, Echoes of the Abyss. The night fell heavy over the desolate town of Ravensbrook, casting long shadows that seemed to writhe and slither in the dim moonlight. Fog crept through the streets like ghostly tendrils, obscuring everything in its path. The air was thick with a sense of impending doom, and the once cheerful atmosphere had given way to an eerie silence. In the heart of the town stood the long-abandoned Ravenswood Manor, a looming mansion with a sinister history. Legend spoke of a curse that had befallen the manor, a curse that had driven its occupants to madness and despair. The tale had long been dismissed as mere superstition, but now, as the moon hung low in the sky, a small group of curious souls had gathered at the manor's doorstep, drawn by a morbid fascination with the unknown. Leading the group was Elena, a fearless journalist with a reputation for seeking out the macabre. Her jet-black hair framed a face that seemed carved from marble, yet her eyes held a fire that could not be extinguished. She had heard whispers of the manor's curse and had come to uncover the truth behind the legends. Are you sure about this, Elena? One of the group members quivered. Elena's lips curled into a sardonic smile. Fear is just a state of mind, she replied, her voice steady and unwavering. There's no truth without sacrifice. With a heavy creak, the manor's massive doors swung open as if beckoning them inside. The group hesitated, their breaths catching in their throats. But Elena took a step forward, and one by one the others followed, their hearts pounding like drums in their chests. Inside, the manor seemed frozen in time, its grandeur now decayed and crumbling. Cobwebs draped the furniture, and the air was thick with a musty odor that clung to their clothes. The group navigated through the labyrinthine corridors, guided only by the flickering light of their flashlights. As they descended into the depths of the manor, the atmosphere grew increasingly oppressive. Whispers seemed to echo from the walls and phantom footsteps reverberated through the air. Elena pressed on, her determination unwavering, but a seed of doubt had been planted in the minds of the others. They finally reached a door that bore a strange emblem, its design an intricate pattern of spirals that seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy. With a deep breath, Elena pushed the door open, revealing a chamber that seemed to defy the laws of space and time. Inside the chamber, a gaping abyss stretched before them, its darkness swallowing their feeble light. In the center of the room stood an ancient altar, upon which rested a book bound in human skin. The air was heavy with the stench of decay, and a sense of dread settled over the group like a shroud. Elena approached the altar, her hands trembling as she reached for the book. As her fingers brushed its surface, a chilling wind swept through the chamber, extinguishing their flashlights and plunging them into darkness. Panic surged through the group as they groped blindly, their voices cries of terror lost in the abyss. Suddenly, a haunting melody filled the air, mournful tune that seemed to seep from the very walls. Shadows danced and writhed, taking on grotesque forms that clawed at the edges of their vision. The chamber was alive with malevolent energy, and the group was ensnared in a nightmarish dance of terror. Elena's voice rose above the cacophony, her words an incantation that echoed through the abyss. The book seemed to pulse with a sinister glow, and as she read the ancient text aloud, a figure materialized before them. It was a grotesque creature, its form twisted and contorted, its eyes gleaming with a malevolent intelligence. You have awakened me, the creature hissed, its voice a chilling whisper that seemed to worm its way into their minds. For your insolence, you shall pay the price. The group's screams echoed through the abyss as the creature's tendrils reached out, pulling them into a maelstrom of darkness. Their bodies contorted and twisted, merging with the shadows until they became nothing more than echoes of the abyss. The manor stood silent once more, its secrets buried within its walls. The curse had claimed its victims, and the town of Ravensbrook would forever be haunted by the echoes of its morbid past.